So hello and welcome back to Kumado's Coins and Banknotes. Today we have another unpackaging. So this one doesn't have stamps on it. So you're wondering why stamps are dying? Well, they're not as popular now. They probably need to get rid of the, this prepaid stamp postage and just put your own stamps on it, which will actually make it a lot more, uh, a lot more. Okay. A lot more stamps being used. Okay, so this is a uh, pretty, it's okay packed. I think these are all loose. Which, yeah, which would indicate that these have probably been somewhat damaged in the postage, being posted, but yeah, they're all really well circulated coins. So if you're going to post something like that, probably put it in box or whatever but that post is just cheap it's only like six dollars so the first one we have uh coins of belgium so we have the five and ten centimeters so these are depending on the date so i don't know the actual mintage for each so 1863 1862 yeah probably about five dollars for those uh, this one obviously is post mint damage of the whole 1894 so that's not even worth scrap metal. Then we have the one, two, and five centimeters that they used in the 1800s. The first one centimeters, yeah, it's in pretty poor condition. Can't even tell the date on the actual coin. So 1842 or something. The second one, well, has bronze disease or vertigras or coin cancer whatever you want to call it in the ancient world they call it bronze disease uh, in the more modern coins like these they call it coin cancer or vertigras it's just copper sulfate and it's going to eat the coin away so and it's 1847 so it's just yeah, you can see a coin cancer so it's just a natural process of metals these metals don't like to be in the state they're in now that's why they all tone they go all these different colours because they're changing into ABBA, uh, well, molecules. So they are becoming different elements. Not elements, molecules. So they come from pure copper, the copper sulphate, copper oxides. This one's a five cent and a large coin from 1856. And this is why I actually got this, because it's in pretty good condition. And in the 1860s, they changed it to a small coin, copper nickel coin, which is more common. So basically, they're all in French. And this one looks like it might have a... A... Yeah. That has... A damage to the actual die. So... That is those ones. And this one's probably worth at least, yeah, I'd say twenty dollars in that condition. Looks like a bit of an error. Okay, the next coins we have. This is all mixed lot of uh, African coins, and obviously five dollars or five cent, five dollars or ten. Was you can have one dollar, twenty dollars or one dollars, and fifty dollars or two dollars. Okay, so this is a nice lot of African coins. So the two largest, I actually purchased this for this one. So this is our coin of Djibouti. Uh, they call French Somalia, which is Djibouti. And this one's probably at least $10 to $20. $9.48. And of course, I don't have it in, in the collection. The Emirate of Reunion coin. So this is a small island. They currently use the euro. And this is 1955. Yes, yeah, so probably about twenty dollars for that coin. So they're quite nice. Okay, let's get rid of the worthless coins. Well, coins are not really worth that much. Uh, here we have a current coin from Tanzania, a uh, two hundred shilling. So this is just a current circulating coin. And they all have uh, former presidents on it. This is 1998. So take it to Tanzania to spend it. We have. The South African coin, so this is, I think it's a Protea, 1978, yeah, probably not really worth that much. 
we have a current coin at Lesotho. I don't have this denomination, it's called a Malotti. And this is 90, 98. So this one, yeah, because it's damaged, obviously, it's, this indicates that it's been on the ground. It's probably had something run over it. Go run over it on this side. And it's been scratched on this side. But this one, if it was in land circulating condition, probably in like three or four dollars. Okay, any other current circulating coins? Okay, we've got Zimbabwe. These are pretty worthless. Probably not even a dollar for the 20 cent. Okay, we have a coin from Uganda, five cent, 1966. And this one. A lot of tonings, probably a dollar or two for that. And it's the first year of issue. Okay, another current coin we have is from not Namibia. And this is an eagle. This is worth a dollar, roughly equivalent of 10 cents. This is well circulated, so pretty much less than a dollar. Then uh, we have a Kenya 50 cents, used until the 90s. 1968, it's not first year of issue, but it has Mr. Kenyatta on this side. And currently, Kenya doesn't issue coins with any portraits as per their constitution. So not really worth that much, that coin. A Rwanda 1 franc, here we have the coat of arms on it. And on this side, we have just a generic portrait of a person. Okay, Bank National de Rwanda, 1969. Yeah, probably two to three dollars for that coin. Then we have a coin from Botswana. So this is a one puller. Oh, 50 Febby, should I say? So it's worth half a puller. And it has a fishing eagle. 1977. So and this coin is yeah, probably worth just a few dollars. Then we have a Malawi coin with one of the presidents. And this is the one shilling for 1964, probably worth about five dollars. It has corn on it. Then we have a coin from Ghana. So these are pretty easy to get in uncirculated grade. It's two drums, freedom and justice, half a siwa. Yeah, probably worth a dollar or two. As I said, pretty common. Then we have a coin from Sierra Leone. This has Sir Milton Margay. He was a Pretty much unity, freedom, justice. Well, it's a dictator, so obviously that freedom and justice part and unity really doesn't exist in the country at the time. It's a half cent, so one Leone equals 100 cents, so 1964. Also, a pretty common coin, but I'd say probably at least four or five dollars for that. Then we have a coin from Maleg. Maleg now. Madagascar, 1966, and this should be five francs. Or well, Ari, Ari Ari, that's the currency they use now, which is equivalent to five francs. It has the emblem, which is a bull. It also has two plants. I think that's coffee. That might be rice. And here we just have a flower, probably indigenous to the actual country. And that's probably worth a few dollars. I think I sold a few for about five dollars each. Okay, then we have produced more food, five cents from seashells. Here's the coat of arms, 1977. And I think this is a one year issue, probably worth about four or five dollars. Here we have a, a large country in Africa, Nigeria. Ten Kobo from 1973. So first year of issue. And this was the last country to actually get rid of a pre-decimal coin. So they were going to do it earlier, but then they had a civil war. Uh, so they delayed it to 1973, and the last country to get rid of um, the pound system. Here we have the coat of arms, has two horses, the eagle up the top, unity and faith. But at the time, Nigeria is a dictatorship. But Nigerian coins are actually harder to get than what you think. And currently, they issued a 50 Cobo, one and two Neva. But they don't circulate because the currency has dropped like a brick. So it's probably only about 3 or $4. Another large country in Africa, Congo. So then I changed the number to currency to the Zaire from the franc. So this is the Zaire currency. 
And this one is the nomination Unlikuta 1967. This is worth one thousandth of a Z. And oh no, no, this is one one hundredth. And these ones are probably worth about three or four dollars. I think there's like a hundred million of these minted, so not really a hard coin to get. Okay, then we have a five Nagui. This looks like it might be a proof version, 1987. Or at least the set issued. Just the way it's been struck, it's just too shiny for a circulating issue. And it looks like the dies have been polished. 987. Uh, this should be a, a low mint issue. I don't need to look up that, but probably $5 for that coin. Okay, then we have Liberia. This is Elephant. This one is a one cent coin. It should be the same size as the United States one cent. And here we have the coat of arms of Liberia, which is a ship sailing to New Land. And we've got a agricultural instrument for agriculture, the sun for a new dawn, and a bird. Or maybe that's a stalker. The love of liberty brought us here. Well, tell that to the indigenous people. So these are all slaves that were freed and immigrated over to Liberia. So that's probably worth about five dollars. The last coin we have is 1972 East African franc. And these have uh, a fish on it. So these are stylized. One of the cultures. And it's, as far as I know, it is still currently a legal tender. Although, I think they could change their coins in 2006. And this should be a nickel version. So, it's quite nice. And the exchange rate this is probably worth about 10 cents. It's a nice coin. So, I do like African coins. Uh, basically, I just got it for that. Uh, if I am realistic, I'll probably keep these coins uh, because I, I don't have them but all the rest you know they're just going back on the market anyway let's say thank you very much have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time and take care thank you if you have any questions leave it down below